Yo, my name is Zosh. Yo, it's Young Static. What's cracking, guys? This is Christian from Honda Vlogs. Yo, 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 Vatos Locos. It's Vasile Garage. And you know who you're watching? You're watching Lazy Man Garage. You're watching Lazy Man Garage. And you're watching Lazy Man's Garage. Lazy Man Garage. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I got an exciting kind of non dole video for you guys today. Look at that curly little cue right there. So I have an idea, I have a plan. See this right here? This is writ black dye. So what I plan on doing is dye my carpet black. Why am I so white? Find out next time on an episode of Dragon Ball Z. Also, I've been working on this bumper and my first time applying fiberglass. Let's see if it's sticky. Please don't be sticky. I mean, it's still kind of sticky, but Pretty fucking hard. My first time using fiberglass. Not bad. Not bad at all. And it actually contoured. Now I just gotta sand it down, put some bondo, make it look, you know. And then I gotta do this side right here, and that side right there. And then on these Jay's Racing Fenders for K Way Garage, I gotta do that for them too. Also, gotta scuff this up because this is a 20 year old Airwalk bumper that's completely fiberglass, 100% fiber glass even the grill molded to it and then thanks to Jay I got my uh, flywheel done at clutch masters out here in Rialto California and then I got the fiberglass resin which I completely ran out of gloves and then I got the fiberglass right there it's not itchy like people say this thing is not itchy it's only when it fucking does this shit right here is when it's itchy not itchy it just feels like a fucking weird blanket so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my tote, set it right here, fill it up with water, and put three things of writ dye in it along with my carpet. Let that sit for a few hours, and then uh, hopefully it works, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, Louise is saying, why don't you just uh, buy yourself a new carpet? But I was like, I have to cut the holes, and I got to measure it, and all that shit. And it's too much work. This is already pre-molded, ready, OEM carpet. Has some rust stains. I don't care. I'm gonna do it because I think it's a smarter idea. I just gotta grab the carpet right here and dump everything that I just fucking didn't mean to. Okay. As you can see, it has rust stains galore. So what I'm going to do is go grab the tote right now, clean it out, set this up on the stand so I can start sanding kick that mat back in the car slam the door and the tote is right over there in that fucking pile of garbage here goes the first one of that dark magic number two yeah, what are those? number three okay so I got the fiberglass on these cracks this part was so split that if you were to move this part and this part it would actually wobble so what I did for uh, K-Way was I put uh, two pieces here on this side and then two pieces on this side on the inside and underneath right here where this whole piece is gonna have to be cut once it hardens this is three pieces on the actual uh, underneath so that way when it's uh, it won't crack because I don't know if you guys can see that dark spot but that's where the crack is and if I put my hand on this side, you could see, well, you could see me covering up the hole where it was. So after that is done and hardens, got to sand all this. I put uh, some fiberglass here. This is going to try to fill this in. The rest I can't do. I will fill in with, oh man, I touched it. Fuck, this shit's sticky. The rest that uh, I can't fill in, I will fill in with uh, filler, then Bondo. And just look at how bad the chips are on this thing. These are like really, really... Uh, deep inside this bumper so gonna do the best I can currently have that drying and I have this soaking never thought I would say that together in the same sentence but I just keep pushing it down with a stick I'm letting it sit in the Sun pretty warm out today so hopefully this will do its job mass just dropped and uh, yeah now it's really simple to make your uh, your solution if you want to call it that of um uh oh here it is it's really sticky Ew. 
Okay, it's really easy to make your uh, solution. What you wanna do is, because I need to make a little bit more, is this right here. Okay, so first what you wanna do is you wanna take your fiberglass resin, right, open that bad boy up. Pour it into something that you do not care about. About that much, right? So they say uh, a teaspoon of it, but I use a lot of it because I want it to have more oomph to it. Now with this little fucker, this is the activator. You uh, open that up, and you, you think, because there's not a lot of it, right? There's not a whole lot, not a lot, but you put 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10. 10 drops. Then when you dip your brush in, you'll mix it. I don't know if you guys can see how it has like an off-center color, because like you can see the resin mixed in with the hardener. So I'm gonna put this cap back on real quick, mix that up, and then buy some fiber. What I'm gonna fix right here on this side is that hole right there, because K-Way, I don't think he knows that he has this hole. So in order for you to actually fill in that hole, you gotta sand down the area first, so that way it's nice and smooth, because you can see this part is just breaking off, right? Look at that, that's a hole straight through. But he's gonna get this thing painted, and he says he doesn't really care, as long as the bumper looks good, I care. That right there, this is all about quality to me. So I'm gonna sand this down real quick, mix my activator, and I gotta work really fast before this actually hardens. So then what you do is you take your brush, the brush is already starting to fucking harden, which really, really sucks, as you can see. Get some glue on there, some of the resin, right? I know it's, the brush is literally hard as hell. It's like, see, so don't worry, that'll come off. Gonna get some of that right in there applying the glue you're going to take a piece of fiber and you're going to press it in there right just like that okay now i'm going to need to remove what i don't use obviously so i need to have it like that and then you take some more of this glue and you go right over it make sure it's nice and hardened and then you could do the other side like that to give it more structural integrity then you fill it in with body filler, then you fill it in with Bondo, and you're done. I said this before and I'll say it again, I'm no professional, but that's how it should look. It's all nice and wet, nice and in there, whatever, and then a swimwear. So we're gonna let that harden in the sun. We're gonna let that harden more. This is leftover fiberglass I need to cut off. As we can see here, it's still kind of, uh, it's hard, but not too hard. So we still gotta let that harden it has some strength to it like this part right here rock hard because i did that the other night this right here still needs to harden and then you can fill that in with bondo and filler and make it look nice upon further inspection on his bumper i see this crack focus focus why is it not focusing okay where is it there it is look at this watch this I can't have that, he can't have that either. So I'm gonna make some more, put this patch right on here, wrap it around like that, and then that won't be cracking no more. And I'm also gonna do the other side. Same with this piece right here. Now I'm not gonna be sanding the uh, back side because no one's gonna see it, but the car will be, this bumper will be getting painted the uh, electro, uh, I think it's called a Electron Blue that the EM1s come in. Uh, but I'm gonna just like all this right here is gonna be sanded down. This is gonna have nice Bondo filler to it because this is still good uh, fiber, uh, fiberglass. But God, I really want to itch my nose, but I'm covered in fiberglass and I do not want to stiff this shit. I'm not wearing a mask, which I should be. Let's see, any more cracks? Any more cracks? This is gonna get sanded down. So I'm gonna mix some more. I'm gonna lay that down real quick, and then. Uh, we're going from there. That pla uh, plaster lay down, whatever you want to call it. And it goes all the way down to there, to the uh, rim, if you will, the bumper. So this is just going to get cut once it's hardened. And that's going to get filled in with the filler. So I'm going to let all this harden right now in the sun. Let it do its job. Let it chill. And then uh, I'm going to come back to it, sand it, do what I need to do. All this is going to get sanded. This is a really heavy... Uh, like has really heavy pock marks on it so i'm gonna get all that done and then uh hi bert and then uh get it ready for paint i don't know if you guys can see it but i got the gate right here all freshly painted with vht because vht is the way to be 
this still needs a little bit more paint as you can see but the reason why I'm painting it VHT is because this is going to spend most of its time in the bumper next to the radiator next to all that heat plus we live in California so why not give it that heat treatment you know what I'm saying over here we have the bumper that's been sanded hi Thomas um I didn't feel comfortable with this because I already you could already sand it or whatever like once you put the resin on or whatevs you can sand it but I put two layers here one on bot or one on the bottom and one on the other side oh, people just fly through here yeah. so I know a lot of resin spilled but that's what happens so I, there's uh, two layers on this side two layers on this side and one layer going across that like kind of <coughs> connects them together then right here we have two layers here one layer here that's been sanded and it's really smooth like you can't even tell that there is anything here yes there is a hole here but that will get filled up with uh, filler and then bondo and over here is the first time I ever laid uh, fiberglass um, it worked I mean it's strong as hell this is where uh, a patch was this was actually split so this is one piece it's very smooth to the touch except for right here I could use a maybe a 180 grit just go through by hand it's uh, also uh, welded here and as you can see it goes all the way to the other side too because I wanted this to not split so it goes on here all the way around and you can sand down like all that resin that you see this was all like resin over here and stuff and you can sand it down most of this is going to get filled in with filler and uh, primer and this is a spot that where I had a big chip missing right here oh man it's still wet what we're going to do is uh, fill that in with filler and Bondo smooth it out to the shape that you need it to be because Bondo actually sticks on this pretty good so let me run that for you again oh no I spilt it Sorry, K-Way, you're going to have a little puddle of resin behind your bumper. Um, you add uh, a tea tablespoon of this. Usually, I just fill it up into the little cap right there. And ten dots of that. So, just go trip, 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 ten times. Mix it. And then, you just kind of take a brush and you dab it on there. Like, you, you paint the area first that you're going to lay the fiber on. So, if it were to be, like, right here, you paint the area. Then, you lay the fiber. Then, you take the paint brushing, dab the whole thing, and it will stick to it. Let it dry overnight or whatever, and it'll start to get hard, and eventually it'll sound like this. Once that's completely dry and that's completely dry, it'll just be like as if nothing ever happened. You can sand this down. Uh, we used a 80 grit to sand it all down nice and smooth. I'm getting drips, which I'm not okay with. Um, took off the gate, and uh, it's almost ready. It's very smooth on certain areas. Of the bumper, I still haven't hit this area yet. But it's very, very smooth, not rough. This is what's weird, though. Look, like you can see through it, and that's not paint right here. That's just like the fiberglass mixed together. That's like layers of fiberglass you can see actually through it. Like, so you can see my hand. How crazy! But I'm gonna end the video right here. If you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you guys didn't like the video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up because it helps me out. Excuse me, gate. Uh, if you guys want anything from Neo's Garage, link will be down in the description down below. If you guys want anything from Activia Racing, link will also be down in the description down below. My name is Chris from Lazy Man Garage, and I'm lazy, so you don't have to be.